just run it. Just fucking run it. Let's go. Press the button. Let's go. All right. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, we, we reeled him in here, everybody. Poker guy. Hey. Oh, What's hey. Up? Oh, wow. That was... That was fuck low. I mean, almost blew my goddamn. Well, anyway, so off. I just want to give you, I want to give you assholes an almost update. So I was battling Comcast. Comcast had my well, not Comcast specifically, but one of their cousins. They had me in a vice grip. They had my nuts in a vice grip. I was able to go to customer or whatever, and they were able to. I was able to talk them down to very very little money, but they wouldn't budge on the installation fee because I knew the guy was going to come into my house. And take an Ethernet cord and plug it into the fucking wall. And I was I had spoke to about two or three people and I was like, dude, I'm not I'm not paying them fifty bucks or whatever it is. Lo and behold, <laughs> it's only Jeff, fifty bucks. Jeff comes in. Yeah, it's only fifty bucks. But I'm god damn it, I wanted to win. And Jeff's got and Jeff comes van in. out there though, right? To turn huh? that shit on. He's gotta drive his van out there, he's taking his time. That's a reasonable fee. All right, all right, I hate to take the side of Comcast, but continue. No, I'm just saying. Like, and so, lo and behold, dude walks in, plugs it in, and he's like, "That's it." I'm like, oh, "You know, of course that's it." And he was a nice guy. All right, and so Comcast or whatever, they uh, he's a nice guy. So I don't want to get this guy fired or nothing. So I was really pissed about it, but I just, you know what? They, they won this battle. It was a it was a battle I wasn't going to win, and I lost the battle. They're all so nice I have, guys. I mean, Comcast they're on it, is- man. Is an on evil, it. an evil person that sends out children to collect, you know, information. Mm-hmm. And, you know, he's like a Lord Varus, right? And his little, his little, his little birds. spiders, dude. He's like the spider. Yeah, yeah the spiders. Uh, so they're so evil. They've got to put their nicest people on the front line. It's so true, dude. Know. It's true. So you can't be mean to them. And this kid's like young. He's like a like a kind of chubby. You know, hasn't had a girlfriend in a yeah. long time. And I'm like, God damn it, this guy's. <sighs> I bet his internet works, right? He's definitely going home tonight on the yeah, internet. He's going to order go himself a fuck pizza. suit. <laughs> definitely getting a fuck suit. He's going to definitely Dress order some like pizza and just chill. But yeah, so anyways, I was out with – I didn't have internet for about a month and a half. And uh, it's, it's, it's harder to live. Well, I mean, it, would, it wouldn't be hard to live, but Sprint was throttling my internet. I went to Sprint and I'm like, you guys are throttling my shit. They denied it, but they were because there were times like, I think I was at one point like 30 gigs of data in like a week. <laughs> like I was just like <laughs> crushing data, but I have unlimited. And then at one point they yeah. throttle it so you can't access anything. And so Sprint was fucking me. And then, you know, you know, it is what it is. So you guys won. Congratulations. The White Walkers win. It's over. Yeah. I'm back on the fucking pod. So good to be back. Good to be back. Good to, be back. Good to have you back. Thanks. Uh, now, let's hope there are no more uh, huge technological advances. They cannot be overcome with more than $50 uh, and a little bit of pride set aside. I, so my ego couldn't take another hit like that, but, it, you know. All right, let's talk about bruised egos here. That's a good transition. All right, All right. good. That's good. That's good right there. Good to have you back. That's good. It's raw. It's raw and unfiltered. <laughs> raw and unfiltered. Yeah, we're back. Burps will not be cut out. Farts no, we're not going to edit that in. out. You're going to enjoy that. I'm gonna enjoy that. What about if that. I play guitar while we chat? Can I do that? No, fucking no. You can play guitar at the end. Absolutely. Uh, you can show off your new general. I'll, I'll maybe bust out the pipes. We'll make a tradition of it. Okay, cool. Uh, you grab we'll, your axe. I grab my blade. We fucking shred it up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Go. So my wife, I can't remember exactly how this happened but i think she got bamboozled by one of those magazine people that you know <laughs> from office space you know my name's bill i've got cancer <laughs> whatever mm-hmm. that guy does mm-hmm. he asked him about the money laundering and all that mm-hmm. i think she got taken by one of those people i think is he is why this keeps happening but us weekly keeps showing up in my house mm-hmm. right? and my wife is going through this is the august 19th issue of us weekly it's a, it's a little section called Hot Hollywood. Hot Hollywood. Now I'm going to read this to you, and you tell me if anything sounds funny here. Uh, let me get let me get to the end, and then we'll we'll, we'll go back through this. And, and let me I want to hear what you think because when I heard about this, it's a little bit odd. All so right. Ju- Julianne Huff. It's spelled Hogue, H O U G H. I think it's spelled Huff. Is bearing it all. Literally and figuratively. For a September cover of Women's Health, the America's Got Talent star stripped down and opened up about her sexuality. So this woman, so this is a side note by me, she's a dancer and she was... Um, like a stripper? 
No, not like Cardi B, but like, uh, you know, was on like uh, Dancing with the Stars, right? But was one of the people that the stars danced with. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, I, I'm doing the math in my head. Okay. So she's nobody of importance, but she's. So, can like, dance. when, when Jer- like, when Jerry Rice goes, he needs to dance with, like, a professional dancer, right? Mm-hmm. So he, he picks some, you know, hot chick to dance with. They dance, and then he gets wins or he gets kicked off, and no one knows who these people are, except okay. for her, right? So people started latching onto her. So she's she famous. For herself. She's like kind of like she's famous. She's like the Joe Rogan of Fear Factor. Kind of. Okay. But she was a dancer originally. And then she started she got into hosting things and now she's like she's basically just a personality. She's a personality. Some would she's say an she's an inter- Some would say she's an influencer, but th- we'll she's save an we'll save that for another day. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> so Brooks Brooks Lake Wage Lake. Can't these people have easier names? So Brooks Lake in July 2000. Okay, just four months after marrying Brooks Lake in July 2017. That a man. The dancer says she underwent a massive transformation and dropped a bombshell on the NHL player. 36. I told him, you know, I'm not straight, right? She says, I was like, I'm not, but I choose to be with you. Committed partners. Julianne's straightforwardness is one reason the NHL pro fell from her. Fell for her. She's an exceptional communicator. The How Men Think podcast host tells us. Adding that she helps him understand true connection, intimacy, love, and how they all combine to make the connection between a husband and a wife. And the feeling is mutual. Huff was able to be honest because of the safety she feels with her husband. There's, quote, no fear of voicing things that I've been afraid to admit or that I've had shame or guilt about because of what I've been told or how I was raised in. Quote. That's the end of the fucking article. Okay. So here's the thing, dude. What the fuck is going on? <laughs> I don't know, dude. That sounds <laughs> right. that. See, that's so. I don't know. To me, that is a we. It's like poisoning the mind of like mindless people. Like people read that magazine, and now people are gonna think that and be like, oh, okay. Uh, I, it's just, I don't know. I feel like it's throwing a big monkey wrench in the sanctity of what have, I, I mean, from what I understand, what a marriage is, right? Don't marriage is a man and a woman and it's Jesus and it happens in a church. Well, not it's even so much, is. not even so much that, but it's kind of like a union no. between like two individuals. Right. But she's saying like, so what, they're just like roommates now. So like, that's, that's, that. these are scenarios that I want to kind of, I'm not married, here. but if I have a wife, I'm going to try uh, to, I'm going to try to slide in. Uh, all right. Do you have uh, so? Here's the deal. I want you to look this this chick up on the internet here. Right? All right. I want you to see what she looks like. All right. All right. Julianne Huff. H O U G H. All right. So let's see a couple. Just look at a couple pictures of her. Is she hot. Let's find out. All right. Yeah. Is she hot? Hot or not? PG. Hot or not? <laughs> PG. PG. Hot or not? I mean. <laughs> <laughs> all right. She is. Calculating. <laughs> Calculating. Yeah. She's hot. She's yeah. hot. Yeah. Okay. She's actually really cute. Um, I like these like uh, this little blonde chick. She's like kind of skinny, yeah. petite. She's kind of tight body. She looks fit. She got nice. Ooh, she got nice. Yeah, she got nice little curvatures. I like yeah. her. All right, but you, you know you she's ex- not straight, right? So she's she's a lesbian, right? Okay. Now there's a couple well, different ways about, to think about she, this. Is she bi though? Is she bisexual? Well, I don't know. But here's what we do. Here's what I wonder, right? You wonder if the dude has the green light to go around fucking other chicks. Is that what you're asking? Well, yeah. Me? Well, she's fucking other chicks, right? So I don't dispute that she's fucking other chicks. So there's there's two different things about this for me. One, if you can, if it's someone like, I would let it play itself out, right? I'm I barely married this chick. There's probably something weird. I've probably known something's weird about her. Uh, she's hot. Well, and she's like, I'm a lesbian. I'm like, okay. Cool. Okay. How's that going to work? Because here's the thing. She's a hot dancer chick. And I may be fucking predisposed to this, but I had a guy in my fraternity when I was in college who was like two of them were dating dancers. So they would always have their fucking dancer friends over. And it was fucking crazy. Like they knew how to party. Right. So is that what this guy's life is like? Or is it just like Janine Garofalo is hanging out over there with like a fucking attitude? And an agenda, right? And it's like an <laughs> Antifa rally inside his kitchen. 
when he's trying to like <laughs> go, go, go get some diet Dr. Pepper at night. Um, right? Like which of these things is happening in his life? Well, let me just deconstru- in let me just deconstruct this. Now, I th- so I I'm not poor. Like I don't have food stamps and like I don't have like a Medicaid card, but she, I still I she still makes have a to, lot of money. Well, that's my point. Is like I, I for me, so the rules are different in different like classes, right? So these people yeah. obviously are in the upper echelon. They are now like influencers, but not just Instagram dickheads. Like they're influencing on NBC, on CBS, and they got like the Today Show, like the fucking the uh, uh, Men's Health, all this bullshit, right? So I've kind of thought this for a long time that all, everything that you've said at the end of the day means nothing because your definition of a marriage and my definition and understanding of a marriage are completely different to what these guys' definition of a marriage is. I think for these guys, marriages are just business opportunities. Like when you look at Jay-Z and Beyonce, um, I look at Jay-Z, he looks – he doesn't. It's to me, I don't. I mean, I don't want to talk bad about Jay Z's getting after some pussy that ain't Beyonce's, right? Exactly. And Beyonce, I like mean, she's 100%. doing the same thing too. Beyonce wants to get on some fucking young twenty-eight-year-old dick. She doesn't want Jay Z's. Does it Ragged or does it not? Balls Just with. I mean, you've seen his it, his lips. You've seen. Look, do me a favor. Google Jay Z's lips right now. I'm not doing that. No. Google it. I know what Jay Z looks like. Okay. Nah, but you I, haven't I seen you haven't seen like. a zoomed in like picture of his lips. You know what I mean? So, like, my point is this. My point is, is like these are just business opportunities. Like Michelle Obama and Barack Obama. Those are celebrities, right? Yeah. So it's like I That's don't. That's why think... those two dudes got married. <laughs> <Excuse me. laughs> <laughs> that, I've seen so much. There's so much of that out there. It's true. Ooh, MAGA man, fucking Trump rules. No, Jeez but the, the point is this: is the point is like she, she, you know, is, you know, assume. Let's just assume here that for our sake, she's a woman and he's a man, and they're, you know, they're both quote unquote in love. But Michelle Obama is in Tanzania in like a super like expensive resort with like pool boys prancing around. And she just watched The Bachelorette and shit. You know what I mean? And Barack's in Hawaii, like checking out also pool boys because he's gay or whatever. And so like you have these things where (laughs) I think that marriages, when they get to that level, they're just like photo ops and business opportunities. Like you think Trump and Melania like fuck? Dude, give me a fucking break, dude. Trump and Melania are not fucking. She's off banging like some kind of secret secret service guy. Trump is off do- doing Trump things. You know what I mean? Hanging Trump out with stuff. he's hanging out with Jeffrey hanging Epstein with next week. <laughs> he's hanging out with a certain Jeffrey next week. Yeah. My point is, is like it doesn't matter what all this shit is. I think it's just dialogue and it's nonsense. And you need to get Mrs. Fever, get her away from Us Weekly, and get get her away. Get like get her away. She should not be listening or getting her mind poisoned by this type of shit because this is fucking nonsense who, who like wait i'm just saying for the record i would wait it out would wait <laughs> oh if you were if you were brooke or whatever like the dude yeah if i was that guy oh i just would wait it out i'd be like what, what how is this gonna work right well, well i mean if she's bringing in super hot chicks and she's like look i'm actually not straight but i'm bi and these are my two girlfriends I've what never if, been. A, it doesn't matter. Doesn't even matter if she's bi, right? As long as the chick she, some of the chicks she's bringing in are. My point right? is, if there's like, me and there's be? three hot girls, and I'm transplanted into that situation, which will never happen, but I'm saying if it did, I, I'm not gonna be like, "This is ridiculous." <laughs> yeah, you know, this is I'm like my 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 Stephen A. Ridiculous. The absolute <laughs> mahogany. Da, da, da. Like I would, I would just be like, "Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. Let me get some yeah. Pepper Johns." Papa John's all the like, way. Papa John's all yeah, the way. Yeah, like, but that bitch with the purple hair, she ain't coming back. Mm-hmm. She's got an agenda. No, she can she can she it. can watch. She can watch. She can watch. She can watch. Yeah, I, no, I think so. She can watch. She can stay in the room, she but but she's uh well it depends on how she looks. Like if we're talking like pixie haircut, or we're talking like uh, I'm tired of hearing about how fucking Tumblr isn't what it used to be. Yeah, right. like if she opens her mouth and has an opinion on Tumblr at any point, she's getting thrown out. Yeah, which by the way uh talking tumblr did you see that tumblr got sold so uh, like i think it got sold for a lot it's like a 98 percent devaluation yeah, or some yeah. crazy shit right they took the porn out and they lost it all 
We should buy lesson. Tumblr. Let that be a lesson to you, everybody. Leave the porn in. We should buy Always. Tumblr and then just make it a porn site. That'd be sick. Yeah, we should just buy Tumblr right now and just bring the fucking porn back. Yeah. Bring then the heat. Pump it up. You, you don't even have to get it back to where it was before. Just boom, buy it. Bring the porn back. Get it from two million to fuck it. Get it from twenty million to forty million. Sell it off again. God damn it. I think we just lost a bunch of money by putting that on the internet. Totally. Somebody's gonna do that. Put the dicks back on Tumblr. Get the titties back. Because they, go. they got rid of all the nudity, right? Is that what they did? Yeah, they Disney fight it. I don't know why. Mm. I don't know. I was going for mine, I never went to Tumblr, right? But there's there's like lesbian Antifa threads and porn. So now it's just lesbian Antifa threads. And they're all buying shit off of Etsy and not stuff from people that are advertising on Tumblr. So, yeah, website. I read Thanks. this. I read this book um, called "All Quiet on the Western Front" when I was younger, and uh, there's this. You know, the, the theme is you know there's two lines. There's the Ameri- there's the German line and the Allied line. You know, in, the, in that story, there's a lot of French and a lot of English, and uh, there's in the middle. It's called no man's land, right? You just don't go there. And uh, there's certain certain places that I just don't go. There's a lot of artillery, dead horses, dead bodies, sad people, rotting bodies. Just, just is just poison. And uh, you know, I just don't go there. Tumblr, that's that's in the the no man land for or no man land for me. I will never go there. Never will. Never have. Never yeah. will. There's no reason to. Mm-mm. I I, don't, I can't think of. All right, what else are we gonna oh. talk about? I don't, I'm fucking done talking about lesbians and. All right, well, let's get to it. Let's get to the that was a little moose bush. Let's get to it. Jeffrey Epstein's not fucking dead. Dude. <laughs> All right, right. Like, can we, <laughs> R. R. Do, R. Can we just start man. there? All right, just, yeah, R. I. P. Homeless guy. That looks like fucking Jeffrey Epstein. It's just crazy. Like, we already stopped talking about it. Like, nobody cares. Now people are talking yeah. about, uh, uh, dude, th- like, I-, I was walking around uh, Best Buy today, right? I'm walking around Best Buy because uh, I needed to buy a power cable. I couldn't find a power cable, so I had to go to my trusty Walmart. But I'm walking around Best Buy, and there's people, and nobody seems to care. Nobody's, like, protesting Jeffrey Epstein. Everybody's talking about Disney and the MCU universe and how Spider- <laughs> the fucking earth being on fire. Yeah, they're like Spider- I, I can't believe Spider-Man I can't believe Spider-Man isn't going to be in the next Marvel movie. I'm like, yeah. That's what you fucking care about? Spider-Man? <laughs> that's, that's what you you what? care about Peter Parker and Mary Jane? That's all you fucking care about? Come on, lady. <laughs> like come on. <laughs> like let's I go. I know. It all right, let's 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 peel us back here. Let's right, start Jeffrey Epstein still alive. Um, too many coincidences, like the guards were not looking, the cameras had been turned off, he was on suicide watch, but they weren't watching him, uh, the, somebody who looked eerily like Hillary Clinton with a mustache was in there hours before he quote-unquote died, it's just things just don't make sense anymore, man, they just don't, you know? Well, but here's here's the thing of it all, right, and here here's what I gotta bring it back to, so at a certain point in time, here's what we gotta understand about Jeffrey Epstein, like, what did he build his empire off of, right? When you really boil it down to? Probably money and real estate and shady investments and government contracts and just all kinds of crazy No, he, he, he built it completely off of blackmail. And when you talk about mm. blackmail, blackmail is about one thing. It's about leverage, mm. okay? So this is a man who he had enough leverage to get a $78 million corner apartment from the guy that owned Victoria's Secret. This is a guy who had enough leverage to fucking amass billions upon billions of dollars. This is a guy who had enough fucking power, wealth, and leverage that his own like fuck island, his own fuck jet, <laughs> where he fucked little girls with presidents and heads of state yeah. and businessmen of undeniable wealth and power. He was their concierge to the hedonism of the modern world. And at a certain point in time, It all fucking caught up to him, right? No one plays a perfect game. But what did he not lose when he ended up in that cell? That's fucking leverage. All that leverage that he ever had to get what he fucking wanted was still there in the world. It's still fucking out there. Yeah, His tape of whoever, fucking whoever... Of the Victoria's Secret guy fucking little girls, right? He's still got that tape wherever that tape is. His tape of, I'm not going to name all these people because I don't want them to kill me, right? Yeah. I don't want to end up dead in a fucking basement somewhere. But whatever leverage he had on these people, he still had it. 
Yeah. When he ended up in that cell. Yeah. So what's more likely, right? That he was that he all of a sudden he found himself fucking helpless. That a man who'd schemed his entire goddamn life didn't have a plan for this. Like he's running. Like he never thought about this. He never thought, man, if I ever get fucking in a tough spot, this is what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Right. He thought through this a million fucking times. Totally. And this bullshit about, number one, no one buys him killing himself, but that's not the real fucking thing. It's like, let's make this suicide so bullshit that people focus on the conspiracy of who killed him. Instead of the conspiracy, he's not actually fucking dead. Yeah, agreed. Like, he's not dead. Agreed. Like, it's, it's so simple. It's so stupid, but here we are, right? You know, fucking Spider-Man's not in the MCU. He in the MCU anymore. Yeah. Did you hear that new Drake song? Did you hear it? It's lit. <laughs> it's <laughs> lit, fam. It's sick. Yeah, fam. It's, it's like fucking... super oh. lit. Whoa. Super lit. It's almost like Trump time to, to release the new Drake song to cover this up. Oh, my God. Like, and speaking of, do you see the new Minecraft update? It's super sick. <laughs> oh, my God. But see, that's, yeah, but you're now... right. I mean, you're, you're right, though. Going back to what you're saying, it's like the leverage is still there, and... There, I just think there are businesses that exist in this world that, you know, pe- they just, you know, consumers aren't actively using them. So we don't know they exist. But like, if I'm a super mega rich henchman kind of guy, like kind of one of those like James Bond, like man with a golden gun kind of shit. Like, there's a business out there that says, hey, if I ever go to jail, um, can you just get like my homeless carbon copy dude and just put his body <laughs> yeah. in there? And then, um, and like you said, that leverage is still there. So there's, there's special interest and making sure that this Epstein guy gets out, you know what I mean? Like gets out from his situation, you know, because as long I mean, as, he, if, as if he's I'm alive. Epstein, if I'm Epstein and I'm in jail, uh, I'm, I'm sitting there and I got my lawyer. Obviously, you got your lawyers. Dude, your he's probably sitting there like, I'm good. He's like, I'm fucking good, dude. Like, I'm good. In two your, days, lawyers, your lawyers are inherently complicit in everything that you're doing. In right? two days, so, I'm going to – listen, Dr. Sh- or Mr. Schwartzberg, Juris Doctor – I am going to give you a call in two days, and then I'm going to schedule a flight. And then we're going to take that flight together. We're going to meet in Belize. I'm going to have a face tattoo, and I'm going to have different color yeah. hair. But we're going to we're gonna fuck some boys, all right? All right. Yeah. All right, Schwartzberg. Yeah. I'll see you in a couple of days. See ya. Because, yeah. I mean, here's, here's all he's doing. He's in jail. His lawyers come in. His lawyers are – They've been blackmail. He's been using his lawyers to blackmail people for years, right? Like that's how you blackmail people, right? Is you you have a lawyer who's complicit, uh, so you can set these conversations up. Now I tell my lawyer, I'm like, all right, we plan for this. Let him know, and then it's just like, hey, whoever, yeah, Jeff's in jail, man. You better fucking help him out, or all these tapes are coming out. I know we said we were good when you gave him the mansion. I'm <laughs> just kidding, dude. No, but seriously, we're going to fucking – we got extra copies. Of course, we lied to you, and you better get him out of jail, <laughs> right? I mean, that's the bottom line. Yeah, I agree. I I'm, I'm agree. He's, like, he's, it's – there's no other way. There's no other – there's no nothing else that makes sense. He's fine, dude. He He's fucking fine. And on top of that, it's like we're going to forget about it anyways because – you know, Trump, he shorted the market, and the market's going down, and then fucking this. And, dude, it, it's, it's, it's the news of the week. I mean, look, at remember that dude from Saudi Arabia who got, like, cut up in a zillion pieces and put, like, <laughs> yeah. in a Ziploc bag and then disappeared? And everybody yeah. was super bummed about it, but nothing happened. And then, yeah, like, but then there's a new quadruple stuff Oreo, so nothing, nothing else matters, man. Did you yeah, see but it's, bringing it's back not, crystal clear it's Coke? It's definitely not just quadruple stuff. It's also got, like, the mint in it, you know? So oh, it's, it's orange for Halloween. It's mm-hmm. be- oh, so yeah, you didn't see that. Those orange is pretty sick. <laughs> it's just super dumb. Super sick. I didn't even realize what we're talking about. See, that's how it goes. That's uh, how it goes. I think we when were talking about um, Jeffrey new- Epstein. No, we were talking about the new Bruno Mars movie, right? That's what we were talking about. That's Bruno sick. Mars. It's gonna be sick. But be anyhow, uh, to relate, Skippy. So I remember Skippy from the uh, the princess's fake baby that wasn't fake. Uh, a okay, lot of so things have gone. To the, the listeners, gone quiet. Skip, you know, Skippy is the conspiracy theory guy that was talking about how Prince Harry, lady, she's like a Canadian lady. Oh well, whatever it saying is, that, that Meghan Markle was having a fake baby. So the Queen Elizabeth's kid, her Queen Elizabeth's grandson had a wife, and this new lady had a kid. 
And so the theory was that this new lady's kid wasn't really real because the lady was wearing like a my pillow <laughs> under her dress for nine months. So that's the conspiracy. And so yeah. uh, that's what and Skippy was essentially. Like, she was the head conspirator. Yeah, <laughs> she was a head conspirator. But there's another angle to this. So the actual son of the queen, his name is Prince Andrew. He's an old guy. I mean, he's that's the, the son of the queen. Isn't, it? isn't that the guy that we? Yeah, we that's what I'm saying. So he was a friend of Jeffrey Epstein. And the palace has come out with a bunch of shit where they're like, oh, my God. Like, um, of course, Andrew knew Jeffrey, but like. We had no idea he was into diddling chicks. And there's all these pictures of fucking this guy with chicks. So the queen is, is coming out and putting her reputation on the line for defending this guy. And it reminds me a lot of uh, another pedophile defender here that we had stateside. That's when Mr. Joe Paterno. Mm, right. Because oh, yeah. oh, yeah. she defends her family at what cost, right? Like his, here's, here's what I'll say. As soon as you know that... You know, somebody is is out there diddling and you don't do anything about it. You're responsible for every diddle after that. That's those are facts. Like those, that's facts. So, so so all you're telling me all this guy had to do is keep his fucking mouth shut and it would have been fine, right? I mean, pretty much. I mean, I don't know. I mean, but people know he's he's a pedophile now. Well, yeah, but right. did he come out? Didn't he come out and say something like a couple of days later? And he's like, "Yeah, me and Jeffrey were boys." <laughs> yeah, he's like, "Yeah." Well, it's because there's all these pictures of him on his jet and of them partying with young chicks. <laughs> like, it's tough. <laughs> like, it's tough to say you didn't know him when there's all this evidence that you did. <laughs> what a dumbass! <laughs> so, so they have to be like, "Yeah, we knew him for sure," but like, we didn't know those were his chicks that he was. Yeah was getting at we thought it was a charity organization little did we know he was you know molesting these children well that's what it is i mean and that is unfortunately like the number one thing to do if you're a victimizer is is to fucking set up a charity for victims right oh yeah and then take advantage of them yeah that's what they said yeah so you set up a charity for needy kids and you're like all right good i got know i got kids in here that don't have fucking parents so i can molest them and no one will do anything about it there, right. Wasn't there like a football coach that used to do that? Yeah, his name was Jerry Sandusky, and he was uh, at Penn State. And that's exactly what he did. That was his and mo. Did that guy? Uh, did that guy hang himself in a jail cell yet, or is he still in jail? I don't know. Because that's called having no I leverage. He died. People. No, Paterno no. died. Sandusky yeah, is probably Paterno still died. in there. Mercy. But he doesn't have any leverage. He doesn't have videos of, of the Victoria's yeah. Secret dude. Well, he is the diddler, right? And he's just he's kind of diddling solo. You know, he was like a solo diddler, um, like priest style. He was doing a Catholic priest style, just like getting after it on his own, right? What a um, fucking pussy bitch, man. I don't, I, I don't want to talk about diddlers anymore. Porn is, I don't want to talk about these diddlers, man. I mean, all right. No, that's, that's, that's I'm, I'm done talking about pedophilia, okay? You're done. I'm You're done. done. We're all done. Let's go ahead. And uh, what else did you have? You had a couple other things. Um. I don't even remember. I was just I was just talking out loud. Uh, I don't even remember. All right, no. that's good. That's Love good. <laughs> that's good stuff. Well, I was, so I, I, was uh, I brought him up to you. I was thinking that you were taking notes because um, you I talked about all this. You talked about the sports shit. Oh, uh, we're talking about how Disney is uh, distracting us with new Star Wars movies. The people oh, are not true. the people are not asking for Star Wars movies. Yeah, but, there's like two new Star Wars movies coming out. I don't want to watch the, either of them. Yeah. The the mandolin or the cello. Yeah, there's the mandolin, the the mandolin, and then there's a the new Obi Wan movie, and then there's the new like third installment of like the new series. Oh yeah. But of the, the problem canon. Yeah. The problem with that is that they already revealed the ending of the of the movie in like the tr- the teaser trailer that they released. Or the teaser poster. So oh, did the, they? I'm gonna spoil it right now. So all the fucking listeners are listening to this fucking podcast Good, right now. I'm about, to, I'm about to spoil, spoil it. it. I'm about to fucking Get spoil up. it. All right. So Emperor Palpatine. All right. You know who that is, right? Emperor Palpatine. Yeah. So they kind of. I'll give you a breakdown of the first two movies. They were terrible. All right. That's all you need to know. But there was no uh, like Sith villain, and then people were like, "This movie's so all over the place that they just killed off like the evil bad guy in the second movie." So like, 
why like who's the new villain you know what i mean who's the new mastermind yeah this who's whole darth villain vader? who's darth vader and lo and behold behind the curtain people were saying it's going to be palpatine and people were like no that's too absurd because there's no character buildup. the first movie didn't have palpatine the second movie didn't have palpatine it would be absurd almost comedic to insert yeah. palpatine in the third movie like a gotcha you know one of those things and lo and behold poster comes out it's called the rise of skywalker or the fall of skywalker or like whatever of skywalker last and skywalker? lo and behold last skywalker who doesn't matter because we're not watching it in the very okay. background you see a silhouette of a, that fucking shark tooth old grandpa molesting motherfucker <laughs> yeah. palpatine's on the fucking on the poster he's on the fucking poster dude that's like the lamest fucking thing ever it's so fucking whack dude so Pretty much Star Wars is dead. Star Wars died a long time ago. Star Wars confirmed, dead. Unlike just Sir Jeffrey Epstein, Disney is <laughs> yeah. is brilliant. They they took Star Wars, they chewed it up, they spit it out. Now you just have chewed up Star Wars residue on your plate, and that's what you guys have to eat. So fuck Star Wars. I'm done with Star Wars. Boo. What is Boo. That's about it. Yeah. <laughs> that's about it. I don't that's know. I don't, I don't even know what this uh, with the mandal with the mandolin uh, the cello is about. So it's like. Uh... Well, I saw the what trailer. I saw the trailer. You want me to give it a breakdown? Yeah, give me the breakdown, man. Well, I saw the trailer, and uh, it's about a, it's about a minute long. I click to play. There's an intro. There's some music. I see like Boba Fett's Matt. You know Boba Fett, right? Yeah. All right, so Boba, I know Fett. Boba Fett. Boba Fett. So is Boba that what Fett. it is? Boba Fett. It's a Boba Fett movie, and then at about the t- actually, you know what? We should just watch it together because at about the 10 second mark, I. I stopped watching the trailer because it was that terrible. Let's just put it on mm. real time. We'll do Mandalorian. Right. Mandalorian. What is, it, what is it? What is it? Mandalorian. Man, Manda, Mandalorian. Mandalorian trailer. All right. It's a minute thirty-six. I'm watching the one that's got a, eleven million views. Okay. The official YouTube trailer. Yeah. That's the official what I got too. YouTube trailer. It's uh, Disney Plus streaming November second. Okay. All right. Ready? I'm on the one second mark. I'm on the one second mark. Three. All right. Two. Well, hold on a second. Hold on. You shut that damn dog up. <laughs> I can't. They're All upstairs. Right. All right. Three, two, one. Press space bar. All right. Okay. So we're looking at some. Uh, it's a mask. Those stormtrooper hats. Yeah, but uh, they got spears through them. They got spears through them. Yeah. Uh, Lucasfilm. Yeah. We got the Lucasfilm thing. Yeah, limited, limited edition. What is that? Uh, a banshee? It's like a ship. It's like a ship. It's like a banshee. I'm a hell yeah. of a banshee pilot. If you didn't catch my fucking Twitch stream the other day. Oh, we gotta talk about that hell too. Good. We talk about, that's way more interesting than this shit. All yeah. right, so now they're trading Warthog drugs. Driving. They're trading Whoa. drugs and Pepto. Billy D. That was Billy D. Williams, dude. It doesn't matter. He's back. I don't care. I don't care. What is this? Oh, this is Mandalorian. This is stupid. The fuck is this? Some chicks got purple cubes. Those chicks there. with like the elephant horns on their head. They're mostly hot, but then they get those elephant horn things. I don't know if we could ever get over that. Oh, there's Gus. From oh, it's Gus Spring, dude. It's Gus Spring. Gus Spring's yeah. in this thing. <clears throat> Looks terrible. Oh, November twelfth. Gross. Oh, I don't think so. You got the 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 quirky robot wow. the Mexican standoff. I mean, I haven't even seen Boba Fett's face. What is making the this does not make me want to learn more about Boba Fett. Somebody's frozen. Who is Boba Fett? Take the damn fucking helmet off, bro. The mandolin. Looks terrible, doesn't it? Doesn't look fucking terrible. That was terrible. fucking stupid. So, so it's just stupid. It's like the classic, like, it's the new movie trailer. Like a silhouette, some crazy shit. The chick's got purple hair, some more crazy shit. The only thing that I will say positive about this is that they didn't give away the whole movie in the first trailer. You know what I mean? So trailers have a tendency to do that nowadays. So um, that's good. But there, I, I have no interest in watching this movie. You know, I have I've, I have no interest in watching this movie. Um, the, there are a few that do. Um, if you're... I mean, who's... I mean, I don't know. I mean, what I would say is it would be fucking sweet to be um, – who's Samwise Gamgee? Who's uh, – what? The, the actor? Shana? Yeah, the, uh, the actor. Like oh, the man. only place I ever see Samwise Gamgee is the people taking pictures of him as a fucking Comic-Con. Like those people make like tons of money showing up at Comic-Cons. Yeah. It's like you can make like 50 grand a weekend as Samwise Gamgee. Like fifty grand a day, just showing up and letting nerds take pictures with you. Yeah, just like high five people. Yeah, 
<laughs> I just, uh, like, that's all I want to do. I want to get like. What does it have to do with the mandolin? I, I want to get like a like a fucking cult part in, in a shitty movie like that, so I can make make a, make a living. Oh, I see. Fucking dredging myself from Comic Con to Comic Con. Uh, so, be, so do you want to watch the Mandalorian or no? No, absolutely not. That looks, okay. that looks stupid. Okay. I would not go. To, I would not go to that. I'll watch the last one though. Uh, well, well, I the, have to watch the last the one, but I'm not. Yeah, this is yeah. this is what I do. This is what I do. Okay, for all the listeners, I I will buy a ticket to like a romantic comedy, but I'll walk into Star Wars. You know what I mean? Oh, what do you? No, I do not know what you mean. So, like, sense. let's say um, you've got mail. The sequel is is next door, and I got I got that one, and then Star Wars, like the new third one. You know. And so yeah. I go in, I buy a ticket for um, You've Got Mail 2 Redemption starring CGI yeah. Meg Ryan. And it's, so, a, it's a direct message on Twitter. Holy shit. <laughs> it's a pretty sick movie. It's, pretty, it's the same fucking it's movie. It's pretty sick. It's pretty sick, I will say. They send DMs back and forth on Twitter. It's what sick. I do is I'll take that movie, I'll buy a ticket to that and give money to that. And then I'll, I'll, what I'll do is I'm such a petty little bitch, I'll make sure the money isn't going to Disney. I'll make sure the company or the production isn't owned by Disney on some level. I'll buy a ticket to that, and then I'll walk in and see the Star Wars movie. Because I, I want to make sure no money goes to Disney, because fuck Disney. That's very strange and petty. I like it. <laughs> have you, have you, so, how long have you known me? Come so, on, yeah. dog. Come on. Yeah. Come on, uh, I like it. It, it do. Um, speaking of movies, it sucked. Uh, Aquaman was fucking terrible. I saw that. There's. I'm glad two hours I never of- had to see that. I'm glad. It sounds like you and puppies are in kind of like a – in a world where you know that's an that's almost something that you have to kind of watch like oh it's the new movie you gotta watch it you know i don't know i just i started and i i watched it over the course of i think two days and i couldn't stop it's just fucking it's bad it looks bad there's just so many things that they did wrong it's like all right it's just one of those movies that you watch and you're like all right who greenlit this fucking thing well i mean it's just like guys can we get like two hours here and just rethink this fucking thing and tighten it up and have it not be fucking stupid. Because two, saw, two hours and 15 minutes, well, you're always having at least a half an hour worth of bullshit you can cut out of there. I saw it's the just villain. Not necessary. Isn't the villain like a guy with like a big black head? Like he's like he's got like a big... <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, but that's one of the sub-villains. So that's the B-villain. And like the... Not like B is in, you know, uh, Honey Bee... But B is in A, B, C, D. That's like the B villain. <laughs> and because uh, he looks like a fucking B, right? And minus the wings. And it's just some random dude who Aquaman doesn't kill him. So that guy, his plot point is the uh, the king of uh, whatever it is, Atlanta, which I think they call it Atlanta and not Atlantis, which is strange. Um, so but the, the king of the under in Georgia is what you're telling me. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh, men that you know they don't get along with Aquaman. He's from Macon, you know. He's a Bulldogs fan. They're yellow jackets. A lot of fans. time in uh in uh Sarasota. What is it? Not Sarasota. What's that stupid town everybody goes to? Savannah. A lot of time in Savannah. Savannah, Georgia. My grandma and my grandpappy. Yeah. So the that, their king wants to start a war and and fucking crush all the surface people, which is you and me. The bad news is he's got all these legitimate reasons for doing it. How we're dumping all the trash in the oceans, <laughs> fucking uh, boiling them up, <laughs> boiling the seas. Uh, yeah, at a certain point, you're like, okay, kind of. So it's so the, it's nonfiction. It's not. Yeah, it's like I'm actually kind of on board with the villain's plan here. Uh, he raises yeah. a lot of good points. <laughs> Why are we um, rooting against the villain? Okay. Yeah, we do kind of deserve all of this. So <laughs> Aquaman's kind of the bad guy here for at least everything <laughs> in the oceans because. He wins this battle, and we're about to fucking win the war uh, when it comes to killing each and everything in that little yeah. piece of the earth. But anyhow, that's so funny. Like, so that's the villain. That's some brainwashing he wants right there. That's some one-on-one brainwashing. Uh, yeah, that's some bullshit. Right there. <laughs> They're trying to convince me that that uh, cleaning up the oceans is bad. Yeah. Um, so it's funny. At one point, what the what they do is they uh, they wash up all our warships and all our trash <laughs> onto the sea. <laughs> All these coastal towns are just covered in fucking mountains of trash. And I'm like, oh, that's actually 
just kind of what is what is naturally happening. <laughs> like that, we don't that, need that looks like, to do uh, that. That looks like modern day Bombay, India. You know, that looks like yeah, it looks like India. Rio down there, man. Like ah, yeah, fuck. <laughs> is that <laughs> Sao Paulo? <laughs> That's Sao Paulo right there. That looks yeah. like Sao Paulo. I can't see it because of the smog from the fucking Earth being on fire. <laughs> um god damn god, remember it. monkeys That's... oh yeah monkeys were cool until we ate yeah. them all <laughs> they were cool until so we burned down their entire habitat so we grow cows there <laughs> fucking fat ass we have cows though burners. oh yeah cows are cool cows are cool cows yeah. are cool uh they just fart <laughs> and fucking boil us and then we boil them to circle alive fucking it's can we grill them all before they boil us we'll oh, see man <laughs> Losing control. I'm waiting for the for Redux, the 2050. Uh, oh, speaking of, dude, did you see the Lion King movie? Did you see the new one? I did not. It's no. fucking garbage. I <laughs> imagine it was. That's why, I, that's why I avoided it. It's it looked like Aquaman, uh, but no, for this year, it was it was it was fucking garbage. It was trash. Yeah. Now, the bad guy from fucking the original Spider Man, Willem Dafoe. Classic he's one villain. of the good guys in this movie, which always throws me off. He's not Willem Dafoe like cannot be a guy. good guy unless he's the gay dude from Boondock Saints. Because in that movie, yeah. he's not Willem Dafoe; he's the gay detective, which is a timeless. Yeah. <laughs> which boy, I remember we talked about that but when he goes into that fucking house dressed as a woman. That's one of the most ridiculous goddamn scenes in movie history. It's pretty ridiculous. That anyone would ever fucking think that he was a woman walking in there. Yeah, if I'm there, like, that's a dude. <laughs> Did you have fucking willing to phone, dude? That's a dude. That guy's chin like is super chiseled and his yeah. knuckles are hairy. Uh, it's like, come on. <laughs> that's come a dude. Fuck and uh, you can see he sees. Di- you know what's funny though? I think yeah. you were saying Willem Dafoe's got a huge cock, right? Doesn't he have some monster dick? <laughs> I don't know. I hope he does. I hope Google he's it, dude. I think I think me, Willem Dafoe's got a huge like dong along, and it's like unsettling. Does. Like a, um, like a pit bull, di- pit bull dick, dude. Like, no, not even. It's like a, dog, like a like an elephant cock, like a rhino cock. You know, nice. just, good for just, Like a rhino cock, it's r- it's running along the sides of his kneecap, like during shootings <laughs> and stuff. You know. Um, I think yeah. we'll say well, that. Can, for we get wardrobe? can we get wardrobe over here to, for Defoe again? <laughs> God, damn it, wardrobe. God damn it, Defoe. You got to tuck that shit in, man. You got to make yourself a mangina. <laughs> yeah, tuck that shit in before you get caught on a trip Mangina wire. that thing, dog. Mangina it. Mangina. I don't care. I don't care. Mangina it. I don't care if it hurts. Mangina it. Give him the fruit basket. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> oh, shit. That's uh, funny. Okay. It's funny because it's uh, fucked up, you know? Yeah, so he, yeah, he's one of the good guys, which is oh, terrible. Man. Oh, and then dude, the worst of part of the movie oh, ahead, is the uh, the fucking the female actor. I think her, her name is Amber Heard. She went crazy and is suing Johnny Depp, but she fucking sucks. I don't know if you've ever. I didn't notice her. I, apparently, she's been around for a long time. Um, but she's fucking terrible. She ruined that movie for me. It was like try acting. <laughs> you know, try acting. I get it. It's got to be tough when you're in like a warehouse. And there's just like a green screen behind you. Can't be the easiest thing in the world to yeah. pretend that you're swimming <laughs> through the ocean. That you're, uh, you know, three atmospheres deep battling like hammering yeah. sharks. I know it's hard. Yeah, it can't it's be hard. easy. Try to wrap yeah. your head around it. Yeah, that's you gotta you gotta head put the grouper in a headlock or whatever. Oh, but like, it's kind of hard to do. That. Yeah, you know, because it's a green. I, I need something from you. Like I need something from you. <laughs> All right, give me something. Signs of life here. You're coding out on me, Amber. I want you to try to imagine you're trying to drop kick that lobster. I know he's not there. Yeah, I know. I know he's I know. not there. I know. That's why we're paying you the big bucks, Amber. I know. Fuck. I know. I'm going to give you acting. one, two, three. And on three, just just pretend he's got claws and they're waving around. All right, just <laughs> yeah. pretend he's trying to grab his claws. Grab his claws. Got it. Wrestle him. Get wrestle him. Get him. Grab his claws. Grab his claws. Yeah, uh, there you go. go. There you go. go. Punch him. Punch the lobster. Punch him. That's a good take. It's a good one. Good take. Oh, right. shit. We didn't have the gate set on that one. All right. We're going to have to redo. do that again, Amber. Redo. Uh, we got a lighting check here. <laughs> lighting check. Lighting check. Can we get a break, please? Can we get a break? Can we yeah, so, you know, let's take, let's take, let's take, take a five. hard five, let's everybody. Take five. Let's take, take a hard five. Hard yeah. five. What's your name, Amber? What's your name, Amber? <laughs> Amber. Amber, come um, here for a second. Amber, come here for a second. Come here. Come here. Come, here. come over by the baby carrots Amber, real Amber, quick. I don't, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. I don't know what the fuck green lit you, but I'm just fucking letting you know. You need to goddamn fight that stingray. Okay, that stingray. Amber. I want you to imagine that Stingray has your child and it's got your child as a hostage, okay? So you got to kill the Stingray, you know, with your bare hands, okay? You understand, yeah. Amber? Amber. Amber. You, you, I, need, I, need you to, I need you to 
do something for me here. All right. So the other day, that. right, I was, uh, was sitting out on my porch, right, and I saw this. I can't. I'm not, I'm not an ornithologist. Uh, not a not into bird watching, but is a bird. I saw this bird, bird specialist. What does that mean? Yeah, I, I don't know. It's not. It wasn't. Orn- I think that's a bird specialist. I don't know. I, or I made that word up. I don't know. I don't know. Ah, uh, I was sitting out there and I was looking at this bird, uh, and it just was just smashing its head against this tree repeatedly. Is it a woodpecker? I thought to myself, uh, I don't know what kind of bird bird it was. But, uh, <laughs> it sounds like a woodpecker, dude. It sounds like yeah. a woodpecker. <laughs> It's not yeah, smashing it just, its face against a tree. It's just using its well, beaks to drill into the tree to eat bugs. Well, that's the thing, though. It wasn't a woodpecker, right? Well, you're not a or, you're was. not an orthologist. Amber, you know? Amber, Amber, stay with me here, Amber. <laughs> what I think it was, I think it was a director bird, because I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna <laughs> smash my fucking head against the wall until I lose consciousness, okay? <laughs> because you're so goddamn stupid. I'd I, I'd rather die than have to look at you. So. If I hit my head enough, maybe my eyes will start bleeding, and I won't have to watch this anymore because I can't take it. All right, Amber, we got three minutes left, a hard three. I want to see you back on the set. All right, Amber, bring it for me. I have a set, bring Amber. It. Amber, come here for it. a second. Oh, oh no? no? Okay, well then get your get your fucking ass out there and goddamn judo chop that lobster. You understand? You got to judo, judo chop him chop right in his neck. I know judo he doesn't have him. a neck. I know he's a crustacean. I understand that. <laughs> I get it. They're arthropods, I think. <laughs> all right so we got these people in let's let's close here uh we got these people in fucking hong kong they're mm-hmm. going crazy rest in have peace fo- have, yeah rest in peace have you been following that Everything i've been following it actively have you on seen my, heard about this yeah i've been fo- i've been following it pretty active um it's pretty wild it's pretty wild these people know how to fucking protest it's pretty impressive they're really good uh, at protesting um I'm worried about them because yeah, because they're protesting China, because they're protesting China, and those guys like they don't fuck around. The only problem with China right now, China, the only problem with China right now is Indochino, is that (laughs) Indochina. The problem right now is that Twitter exists, right? So like China can't just come in. And start bulldozing people. You know what I mean? Like they can't. Yeah, just, you can't just TN them in square fools. You, you gotta can't do be that much anymore. More covert. Yeah, you like you can't do that. So my fear, like, let's just reason this through as if we were China. Okay, we're China. We're if I'm guys. China, in this scenario, we're bad guys. We're playing. This a part. is how I would do characters. it. You you can't piss the world off because the China has the potential. Let's be honest, China is probably one of the next big superpowers, if not the next big superpower. It's on the up and up, right? So they got all this momentum. You can't stop that momentum, okay? So you can't just nuke them. You know, you can't just run in and shoot everybody. You can't do that. It's kind of like a get war of attrition here. Let's say there's 26,000 protesters. You're going to get – you maybe you grab one in the middle of the night. Now there's 25,999. You know, then protesters I, on the street, 25,999 protesters on the street. Yep. Take yep. one down, snatch them on up. <laughs> 25,986 protesters in the street. Exactly. Pop one on the head, snatch them on up. 26,000 protesters in the street. Bulldoze yeah. them up and 24,000 protesters in the street. Take one yeah. down and pass it around. Try it and Yakuza team up for a fight. You know, so, so I think down the road, it, it's kind of a war of attrition. I think China may not get what they want, but I don't think they can just go in and just start running people over. I don't think they can do that anymore in this day and age. Um, I don't think it's going to happen, but I don't think that it's not going to end well um, for the protesters. I don't think it's going to end well. I don't think so. What's interesting is the 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 Hong Kong uh, traders that are within the mix. So you've got some people traders. What do you mean? Yeah. So here's how here's how here's a bit of the history of Hong Kong, right? So Hong Kong used to be a a British colony or property or something of that nature. Back in 1997, I believe it was turned back over to Chinese control with the caveat that there would be autonomy i believe for the next 50 years i don't know i'm, I'm, I'm piecing this together <laughs> i'm either piecing this together from random articles or making it up i'm not i'm not sourcing anything at the moment but anyhow there the people in hong kong are all pissed off because there's this bill that's going around 
which basically makes it so that they can be extradited to China for like criminal stuff. Yeah. So before it's like if you committed a crime in Hong Kong, everything in Hong Kong was independent. You had Hong Kong, you know, juries, yeah. prisons, this and that. It's like a takeover. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like now a, they can fucking take your ass out to to Beijing. You never to never be seen again. Yeah, they send you to a re-education camp where it's like, what the fuck happened to to Ping? Well, Ping was there. Yeah. He was he was in Shanghai, but they moved him to fucking Bangla Bangla Shanghai, and so now he's in yeah. Bangla Shanghai. All right, Bangla, let's Shanghai. Dr- let's drive the, the family to Bangla Shanghai and let's get Ping. Oh, Ping's not here anymore. Where is he? He's in the Qingqing province. All right, let's go to Ping. Uh, you go there. He's what in, happened? He, he's in Ung Shanghai. Yeah, he's <laughs> in Ung Shanghai. <laughs> he's in Ung Shanghai. Ah, he was in, he said he was right. in Ping and now he's in Ung Shanghai. So the, you get lost in the system and you die. And, um, you know, Puppy said a long time ago, this is probably the funniest thing Puppy's ever said in his life. He said, if you say I'm one in a million, if you're giving me a compliment, let's say like it's a love letter, you say you're one in a million, but I live in China. That's offensive because there's millions of those people over here. <laughs> it says, yeah. uh, that's a good one from Puppy. Like, yeah, you're saying you. there's a thousand of me in this country. Yeah. You're saying there's there's actually a lot of me, which isn't a lot, you know, which isn't a very nice compliment. So fuck you. Um but yeah, so if that happens, you get extradited, you disappear. So I get it. Like they don't want that to happen. They want to stay independent. Um, but but yeah, yeah, they're 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 playing Beyonce. They're fucking rallying. They're knocking uh, facial recognition towers over. I don't know if you saw that one. That I did. Sweet. But those. But what's crazy is like uh, what's crazy is like the news isn't covering what I want to see. Like I want to see the atrocities that the police are doing. Like when I. <laughs> No, but just, I saw there was I one saw when it first started. Fucking tear gas canisters from like the 90th story, where if you drop a penny on somebody's head, it, it turns them into smithereens, and they're just dropping tear gas canisters from the roof, just bombing these people. I saw one where it was like this, like little old lady, and she seemed like it. It's like every Asian grandma in every movie. You know, she's like <laughs> four eight. She's like, oh, my God, like, I've had – she's saying, like, you know, I have sons that are your age. How can you do this? You have families. You know, she's making a good good point. You know, you don't want to shoot – you know, you don't – there's something about a lady. You don't want to see her get punched in the face in an, in an octagon, you know, yeah. but, you know, let alone in the street begging for mercy. And they just, li- they just light her ass up, dog. <laughs> light her ass up <laughs> with, what? with rubber bullets. And they just Fuck. they just light her ass up, but that honestly should be on the front page because that's kind of a, a human atrocity right there. But you don't see that. And there's the other chick who got her eyeball shot out. Remember that one with the rubber bullet like Saw ricocheted that, yeah. into her her eyeball and like you definitely want. I mean, that's a lesson for protesters. Like if I were going to a protest like that, I would have ballistic eyewear on. Like you've got to. <laughs> Like there's I would, fucking give me rubber bullets. I'm gonna tell you something. You know? though. I would I would be a pretty good protester because <laughs> yeah, you're a squirrely little fucker. Like, I, you'd be in and out be, of places. I'd be, like, you'd be a hell of a protester. I'd be a hell of a protester. I'll tell you what, dude. I I'll, the only thing that's gonna stop me are my shoelaces. Because if my shoelaces get a hold of my ankles, I go down. Recovery time is up. I fall down. My shoelaces. I fall twice, and I get fucking judo chopped with a like baton. I, I, would, I would be. So, I'd be a good protest sort of organizer. No, you'd right? be. You wouldn't be in the front line. You'd be in the nah. second line, chucking. I'd be like chucking. You'd be throwing the smoke grenades back over my I'd be, head. I'd be in John Connor. I'd be just John Connor and behind everybody else, being mm-hmm. like, "All right, and here you need. You need to fucking. We need man, more I'd, smoke bombs I'd love that to way." Protest, man. I would love to. As somebody who doesn't have kids or a family, I would love to go in there. I, you know. Obviously, knowing that I wouldn't get, you know, absolutely murdered. <laughs> yeah, but, I want my, I want my safety assured. But it's not like those protests for these people. Definitely, I think it'd be really <laughs> fun to go around and just start just fucking drop kicking police officers, start punching like like news reporters, and throwing shit, in the, <laughs> like just you know what I mean. It's like a Sublime song, April 86, yeah. 1992. April 29, Yeah, it wasn't a, it wasn't it was Ryan about, Streets. It wasn't about race, man. It was just about. Staying no. on top. It was about it's one eight seven. One eight seven on a motherfucking <laughs> cop. You know. Yeah. Just I believe around. me, dude. I was a white kid in the nineties. I definitely had that CD in my fucking ten second electronic skip protection disc man for oh, sure. Sick. Like I was definitely pretty sick. Pretty sick. Definitely. Don't shake it in, too hard. Though. Don't shake it too hard. No, don't you shake. don't want to test it. You got to let that buffer build up. It's like you're when you're fucking totally. It's like when your ex hamsters download mega slow. It's like, you just oh, let it let go. it load. Let it load. Let it load. Just let it load. All right. let, it load. Just let it load. Find a good spot. Just make sure it's it. 720 it though. Load. Don't let it load in 240 and you come back to it. You got to watch like pixelated titties. Uh-huh. Yeah. Make sure it's oh, 720. Jesus. 
Yeah, don't be a, don't be a fucking idiot. 720 or higher. All right, so we both agree the Shanghai. Uh, so we are. I'm on the side of the Hong Kong protesters. I like them. Thoughts? Okay, I'm also on the side of the protesters. Cool. Uh, what's funny is some of these Hong Kong business people. They're like, oh man, these protests are actually bad for property values so <laughs> protesters they, are they they, bad. they took out ads and they're like hey man if you guys could stop this that would be mega sweet <laughs> it's fucking up our condo like our condo um prices so uh do we should go protest could, bro could you stop we should go protest I'm i know not, you you wouldn't protest but you definitely would dude i mean this fucking giant white guy like that'd be a foot and a half taller than everybody else in that <laughs> protest i'd be catching rubber bullets in my neck yeah, a goddamn giraffe. dude they'd be like they'd be like <laughs> fucking shoot screwed. shoot the tall white guy got yeah. it roger hunt your <laughs> it's like that guy who who went out uh on in france and went out and just did a did a Jesus Christ on the cross move, and then got shot in the balls with the fucking smoke canister. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. That's what I'm doing just by being there. Yeah. That I, I mean, everybody <laughs> wants to like hit. A foot and a half like, taller here's than the deal. Every like I, I fucking been on that end where I've been carrying a gun around, right? And everybody <laughs> wants to hit something, right? <laughs> So you're shooting at the fucking easiest thing you can shoot at. And then you're like, totally oh, shoot it. oh, shoot at white monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, look like, at him. He's Sasquatch. Like, Kill Sasquatch. All right. All right. Fucking Orlando Bloom's going to be sliding up me and just shooting me in the eyeballs with two arrows at the same time. <laughs> fucking take yeah, me out. The only way you're inconspicuous is if you wear like sandals while everybody around you wears steel-toed <laughs> boots to get an extra Not four yet. inches. And you're I like flip-flops. Six- Three. I'm, I'm literally a foot taller than everybody. You're in flip flops right? and you're wearing like. Uh, and I look like that Bumblebee Man from Aquaman, which is like my regular head. <laughs> Barry Bonds, fucking San Francisco Giants, 2007. Yeah, we may have to rethink our protest plans. We may want to reschedule our trip to Shanghai to protest. You know, or Hong I'll Kong be a uh, I'll be a drone pilot. How about I do that? You mean you mean stay the, in the back for the? But that's on the side of the police, though. No, I mean, protesters could have drones, too. I could scope out where the cops are at, and I'd be like, hey, you know, throw your piss-filled bottles, you know, more to the right. (laughs) (laughs) You know? You know? And throw your your dirty water bottles more to the left. You know? That is uh, pretty epic. It's pretty epic. It's it's not the mildew and... uh... It's not the building. No, okay. Jesus, you're telling me it's the feces? How do you what makes what makes you think it's the poo? Is it the poo on the walls, the poo on the floor, the poo in the bottles, the poo in the AC <laughs> duct, the poo on the floor, the poop bucket? Why do you think it's the poo? Why not the yeah, mildew? Why do you think it's the shit? You know, I, I showed that to a friend of mine the other day, and she was like, What the fuck? And then at the very end, it was I watched like the three minute one with her. And yeah. I was showing her the one at the end where she's like just let me eat shit. Like she just, the lady was like begging to like eat shit one last time. And my friend looked at me and was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I just started cracking up. I'm like, yes, yes. <clears throat> dirty water woman. Enjoy. She is dirty water woman. Enjoy her. She is epic. <laughs> All right, everybody. You got anything to close with? <laughs> um, no, I don't want to talk to you anymore. All right, good. Oh, yeah, I'm actually, you know what? I do. Hold on. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Here we go. We've been working on this. Hey, what was that? Did I hear something? Well, who's that? Was that you in the back? Okay, you want to hear the general? Okay, cool. We're gonna play. We're gonna do the general. There you go, dude. Riff it. Come in the next time. <laughs> yeah, let's go. It yeah. was a deck red and jail with go. the heart of gold. Let's go. Lagging let's go. Me. Let's go. It's lit. It's lit. It's, it's lit. lit fam. It's, it's lit. lit. New Drake song coming out next week. New Drake song. Don't worry.